boys and girls. It's good to see you today. I wanted to start off by saying how much I really miss seeing and playing with all of you at the hands-on house. I know it's been a long time since we've seen each other, but I also wanted to say that I think you're doing such a great job staying at home and being healthy with your families. I wanted to say thank you to your parents and to your families for staying at home and being healthy. I know it's not easy to do, and I hope that you're having fun learning and playing at home with everyone. And and I wanted to also say that we will be together again soon. And so I'm really looking forward to that time and I hope that you are too. And I wanted to say thank you for staying at home and doing your part and keeping everybody safe and healthy. In my story stretcher bag today, I have some things that I think you might have in your house too. Let's take a look. I have something that looks like this. This is called a ruler. Have any of you ever seen a ruler before or used one or have one in your house? I bet that you do. A ruler is a tool that is used to measure things. You can measure how tall something is, you can measure how wide something is, and a ruler has numbers that are on it that help you to tell how many inches or how many centimeters wide or long something is. And rulers can come in all different sizes. I have a ruler that looks like this. I have a little itty bitty ruler. There's some rulers that are small and there's either and even some rulers that are pretty big. I have something that looks like this. This is called a yardstick and a yardstick is another kind of measuring tool. It has numbers and it measures so this is a type of ruler too. Another kind of ruler that I also have that you might have somewhere in your house is a measuring tape. And this is one that's perfect for kids your age to play with. And a measuring tape is a ruler. You can pull it out and it has all of the numbers on it and you can use it to measure. So today we're gonna to read a story about measuring and then we're gonna do a little bit of measuring together and then maybe you can do some measuring on your own at your house. The story that I wanna share with you is called Inch by Inch. It's written and illustrated by Leo Leone and it's such a sweet story about a little inchworm and an inchworm is a little it's actually a caterpillar. Inchworms are types of caterpillars. They're not really worms, but you probably have seen them this time of the year. They're really itty bitty and they sort of inch along and move. And in this story, we're going to see how this inchworm is able to measure things with his body and also use his smarts to kind of get him out of some trouble. So I can't wait to read the story to you and then I'll show you some measuring that you can try on your own. Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me, I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so? said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. See, she just inched herself along that tail. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. You can see her inching along this long pink neck. He measured the toucan's beak, the legs of the heron, the tail of the pheasant, 
and the whole hummingbird. The hummingbird wasn't quite as big, was she? So she didn't take quite as long to measure. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. What do you think the inchworm's going to do? The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. So there's the inchworm going down the blade of grass. Do you think the inchworm is measuring the song? He measured and measured. There he is. Inch by inch until he inched out of sight. And there he is, moving away to safety. The end. What a tricky and smart inchworm. As I said before, a ruler is a measuring tool that's used to measure the length and the width of different objects. And you can see here that there are numbers that are on the ruler that will tell you how many inches long something is. And if you flip it around, there's also numbers here too, and that will tell you in centimeters how many inches long things are. So all rulers have numbers and even measuring tapes have numbers too. So they look like this. Now, it doesn't matter what you use to measure because all of it will be the same, but you can take some objects around your house and you can start practicing using your rulers to measure things. So I'm going to take some Duplos that I have and I'm gonna lay them right here. And the first thing that you need to know when you're measuring things is that you always have to start at zero. I sort of call this the starting line when I'm measuring things. And it always starts at zero. So you have to make sure that whatever it is that you're measuring, you are lining up on that zero. So I'm going to take my Duplos and I'm going to lay them right, actually I wanted to do it this way, and I'm going to lay them right here on the ruler and I'll scooch it up here so you can see a little better. I know that there's a shadow. And I'm going to line it up so that the zero is at the edge of whatever it is I'm measuring. And the finish line, or the end of the object that you are measuring, is going to line up on a number. And this one is lining up right on the number two. So I know that these blocks are two inches tall. Now if I were to add, couple more bricks to make it a little bit longer or a little bit taller. I could take my ruler and again I have to make sure that where is my starting line? Do I start at one? Nope, I'm gonna start at zero. So I'm gonna scooch this all the way down and here I am and I'm going to count along and I'm going to see that it is a little bit more than one, two, three, four, five inches long. And if I were to take my measuring tape, I would find that it is still a little bit more than five inches for all of these Duplos. So let's take a look at our story inch by inch and let's use our ruler or other types of measurement in order to see how long some things are in the story. So if you find that you do not have a ruler at home, or if you want to create your own unit of measurement, you can do that too. So let me show you what I did. I took one inch squares and I made my own little inchworms. And so they just look like this. 
and again I just sort of measured out one inch in a square and then I drew a little inchworm on here. So in our story the inchworm had to measure the length of the bird's tail. So we could use our own little units of measurement that I have made or we could use the rulers that we have. So let's see. If I were to be using my little squares, what I would do is, again, I'm going to make sure that I start at the starting line. I don't want to put my measurement here. I don't want to start that here because he's, he's too far back. I want to line it up right here, and then I'm going to line up my units of measurement. And I'm going to make sure that they touch, and I'm going to make sure that they're not over top of each other because then that would not be accurate. So we want to make sure that they're lining up in a straight line. And we have, if we want to say, maybe this is the end of his tail. So let's count together how many little inchworms are there to measure the length of this robin's tail. One, two, three. So we have three inches that would be for the robin's tail. I could take these off and I could use my ruler I'm going to make sure that I line it up at the zero and I'm going to put it along the line of his tail, which is a little bit curved, and it is about three inches. Let's see what else we have. Here we're going to measure the length of the toucan's beak. So I could take my little inchworm and I could have him go along like this. One two, three, four, five. Now, if I run out, I can just take this one and say six, seven, eight. Are you counting with me? I can hear you. Nine. And so this toucan's beak is nine inches long. And again, I'm really careful that I'm not overlapping my inches or I don't have these big spaces in between. I want to line them up like little soldiers that are marching. So this toucan's beak is nine inches long. That is much bigger, isn't it? Now, the last one that we'll do is the heron's legs. And we're gonna see how long these heron's legs. Now, we've done a couple to practice. So let's do a little bit of estimating before we actually measure this one. Remember that we did the bird's tail, which was three inches, and we did the toucan's beak, which is nine inches. So if I were to make an estimate, do you think I'm going to estimate that the heron's leg is closer to three? Or is it going to be closer to nine inches? What do you think? Do you think this is going to be more like three of these inchworms or more like nine of these inchworms? I'm going to guess that I think it's going to be closer to nine because I know that this is a very long leg and it looks and reminds me of the toucan's beak. So I'm going to take my inchworm and I'm going to line him up right here at the beginning of his leg and I'm going to count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it is almost nine inches long. It is eight and maybe a half of an inchworm long. Good job. So thank you for helping me measure. Remember, if you're going to try and practice measuring some things around your house, it's a lot of fun. You can practice with your toys. You could build with Legos or Duplos or blocks. You could measure your hands. You can even use books and you can measure how long they are. Just remember, that you're always going to start at zero, start at that starting line, line it up, and count along with your numbers to see how long or how wide something is. So I hope you give that a try today, and I hope that you are doing well, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.